I want to, because you work so much in the States, mm -hmm. in Pittsburgh, in New York, in Chicago, did you work uh, in New York? Chicago, Portland, Maine, you know, a lot of places, yeah. And you're a guy from Quebec who's an Anglo-Canadian. The cultural underpinnings Oh, I'm, I'm from, I was born in Toronto. You were born, sorry. Sorry, yeah, you were born in Toronto. Do you have to change key signatures in any way when you go south to work? No, no, it's uh, acting is pretty universal. The politics from country to country affect uh, the relationships a little differently. The politics affect the relations within the theater that you work at? Yeah, I think it's, we're all pretty, I think in essence, most actors that I know are pretty liberally minded or liberal, I guess is a better word. Uh, in the States, um, they're pretty liberal too, but they're kind of constantly inundated by the politics of life there. It's, uh, they're more vehement about their politics than, than we are. We all have a similar feeling about it, but they express it, uh, I guess, more frequently and more urgently. We can talk about our government situation here, and we'll, you know, oh, right. it's bad. It's you know, no, it's not enough support down there. It's like, why isn't that happening? Why isn't that? It's so obvious, you know. Like it's very clear. It's very clean. It's very present. We're kind of more lackadaisical. That's that's a difference that I notice. But as when it comes to the art, there's a universality of that on both sides of the border. Right. But there are different techniques. You know, we 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 have adopted. You know, we are the the master child of the south and across the pond. We have, you know, ameliorate, we've taken those into ourselves. And I think we're tending more and more towards the American way of presenting art. But it's in the state there's still a difference between a Canadian actor and an American actor. How would you define that difference? Um, British actor would pick up a rock, think about it, wonder what it meant in the context of having it in the hand and the heaviness and what intellectually does it mean in relationship to himself then put the rock down. Canadian actor would poke it up and say, oh, it's got a good weight. I could probably throw it over there if I wanted to. And it's got nice colors, too. In the States, American actor would look and say, I'm fucking mad. <laughs> <laughs> so I, mean, that's, I hope that encapsulates some of what I think the difference is. There's a more passionate directness, I find, in the States. Right. And I, I find that exciting. There's less censorship between action and the mind. It's action first. Right. It's and that's And that's, it's that's, a, that's a, a rash generalization. There are, believe me, yeah. tons of the extremes, but that's something that's always made sense to me about the difference. It's more, it's pure, it's more visceral, it's more animalistic. And it makes it more exciting because it's passionate. Does that limit or expand the, the kind of stories you can tell, the narratives that you can tell? I think it limits it. I think we're in the, in, in, in a very enviable, enviable position to understand that we are between passion and thought. Right. You know, or passion and intelligence, passion and intellect. Because Nick Campbell in Vinci is Brilliant. that visceral going at playing the mayor of It's of a very American Vancouver. energy. It's yes. a very American thing. Yeah. And yet Nick also has that observing and being aware of it. Absolutely. And that observing and being aware of the forms actually give it a resonance that you don't get with the, I'm just going to throw the rock. Exactly. Which, however powerful and exciting that is, lacks a certain awareness of the larger frames that surround it, so to speak. I think that encapsulates what I'm, I'm talking about as far as yeah. the, America, the Canadian style being influenced by American and British. We have a, our own style, and, and Nick exemplifies it brilliantly. How did we find our style? I mean, we were born between the two parents, as you say, mm -hmm. the South and whatever. Did we just end up with this style, pick up the rock? Well, okay, what is the thing? What could I do with it? It's, it's genetic. You know, that's, well, it's, it's genetic. It's also topographical. You know, it's we are, it's what we have, our climate. You know, it's who we are. It's our size, few people in a very big space, diversity of thought and regions. I think those things add up to it. And we've been influenced by, you know, TV from the States since we were, you know, babies. So there's a lot of things that are acting on us. But uh, I couldn't be specific other than that to say what it is. Hmm. Did you see that in Kim's Convenience? 
I didn't see King's Convenience, unfortunately, no. I've heard of his success, though. Yeah, I haven't seen it either. No. I, I think, from what I gather, and I, this is not first-hand knowledge, it's just that it, it's, a, it's a real mirror to our society. It's a story that wanted to be told because it wasn't being told. Yep. And how exciting for, for people <coughs> who, who understood it to want to come. It opened the doors to people who usually don't come to the theatre. Yep. And I, I, I love that. 